Hi, this is Kelly from Petika Kelly and Play, Learn, Talk. And in today's tutorial, we're going to answer the question of how do I have a drag and drop zone task card with multiple draggable items, but only one specified as the correct answer. Now, you may or may not have encountered this problem that I'm about to show you, but what the problem is, is you have made multiple draggable items attached to your drop zone, and you've probably done this thinking, well, I want them all to be able to stay in place, right? Like that's the purpose of it. But in doing so, you've actually created a problem for yourself when your incorrect answer is put in the drop zone and it's marked as correct. That's not what we want, right? So I'm going to demonstrate the card to you so you can see what's happening. Give a like or comment below and let me know if this has happened to you and if you're excited for an easy solution because in just about 30 seconds, you're going to know how to fix this problem, okay? So on this card, I have a fill in the blank text box. I've already filled it in and I've done that because if I don't, when I hit submit to show you this whole problem, it's going to be a problem, right? But it's going to be because of this one. So now we have two draggable items. We have on top, we have inside. The purpose of this task card is for the student to fill in the blank. Okay. I'm sure that's already obvious to you. So what I've done in the workstation is I have made this item and this item both draggable and attached to this drop zone. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the incorrect answer in. The dog is on top of the box that, box that is not accurate. We want inside. We're gonna hit submit and it says correct. Okay, that is not what we want. This is actually what we want. So when on top gets put here in the drop zone and we have this filled in, we want it to say whoops, whoops right? And we want inside to work instead. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the workstation so you can see that easy solution. So let's scroll down to the bottom. This is the incorrect card. Now I'll point out here is our drop zone. If you don't know how to make that, you're going to pull out a text, delete the text inside, and then label it as a drop zone. Okay. So here we have our drop zone and I have two draggable items. Okay. Again, I've just pulled out text and I've made them draggable. Now the mistake we encounter is we think, okay, both need to be, um, you know, attached to this drop zone because I want both to be able to stay here. Okay. That's usually where the error occurs, but this one does not need to be assigned because when you look at the drop zone over here, it says at least one. And that means doesn't matter which one, at least one of these answers is going to be marked as correct. And that's actually where the error is coming from. So what we need to do is actually make this still a draggable item. Okay, but we're not going to attach it. And essentially that is telling the boom card, hey, this isn't attached. It's not a correct answer. I still want it to be draggable, right? But it's not marked correct. Now this is marked correct. This is the way that you're able to tell boom cards that this is correct. Because when you try to make something correct, that's a draggable item, this is what happens. It no longer is draggable. Okay. So when we go to preview mode here, this is not draggable. It's clickable. Okay. And you get this blue circle, which is not what you want. Okay. So that is the way that we're actually telling boom cards that this draggable item goes here and is marked accurate. Okay. So we just change it to draggable. We know it's attached because of that blue line, of course, and that is essentially the solution. So if you like this video and it was helpful, give it a like, please, and go ahead and share it with anyone else who would find it useful. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Okay. Bye guys.